Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be replacing my leak off pipes. As you can see they're getting a bit tatty and they're starting to fray. And I'm also going to be doing the leak off mod. So the injection pump provides fuel to the injectors through these high pressure fuel lines here. And it provides more than the injectors need. So any of the unused fuel returns back to the tank through these leak off pipes. A common problem for this engine is getting air locks at injector one because injector one sits higher than injector four back there. So air wants to rise and you get a bit of an airlock here causing misfiring and loss of power when driving. So um, this might help a few of you out if you're experiencing these symptoms. You might wanna try this first. It's a very inexpensive fix and it won't take too long. For this job, I've got one meter of 3.2 millimeter inside diameter leak off pipe. I've got a new blank and I've also got a new standing blade. So first of all, I'm just gonna remove this section of the manifold. I'm gonna start off by replacing these three going between the injectors. So I'm gonna cut this piece off here. And these little nipples on the injectors are plastic, so you don't wanna move them horizontally. You wanna just pull them straight off. But that's why I've got my Stanley blade here. So I'm gonna carefully, like you're splicing a cable, just, just score down the side of the injector. until you go through and then it should just come off score down the edge there we go so now we've got the old piece of leak off pipe I can go and measure and cut a new piece and put it between these two Just be careful when you're pushing it on, you don't want to snap it off. So just push that on there. And same on the other end. Right, so that's the three leak off pipes changed in between the injectors. That is very straightforward, very easy job. So now I just need to deal with the return line. Currently it's returning back to the tank from injector four here. I've just unbolted the filter housing so we've got a bit better access to the return line. And we can see the leak off pipe returns from injector four at the moment into this t-piece here and it's got a little metal clip so i'm just going to cut this metal clip off remove this section and i'm going to reattach my new piece of leak off pipe it's a bit tight at the back here but as you can see i've just got my side cutters in there and i just need to cut this metal pipe clip off so we can remove the leak off hose i've removed this leak off pipe from the t-piece it's a nice metal t-piece so you can go straight on here with a new leak off hose the last one to cut off back here. Let's get the new blanking plug and put that now on injector four. Now we need to remove the blank from injector one. So the original leak off pipe had this piece of plastic to protect it from rubbing against the manifold here. So I'm gonna put this on the new bit. Now it's simply a case of connecting this piece 
And let's put this through here. And connect it up down there. So I'm just going to cable tie this leak off pipe up here and here and then connect it up to injector one and then that way if any air gets in this system it will be able to rise up and go back to the fuel tank that way. There we go, a couple of cable ties across the inlet manifold there and I've just got to connect up this one. To injector one. It's now returning from injector number one. For the sake of a few pounds for a bit of leak off pipe and a blank, I feel like this is definitely worthwhile doing. We've got peace of mind that all the leak off pipes are brand new now. It looks much smarter. We've also done the leak off mod so any air trapped in the system should be able to return back to the tank so we shouldn't have any misfiring problems. But if it does continue to misfire then it must be something else. But at least we've confirmed that it's not the leak off pipes causing the problem. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it's helped somebody out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and click that little alarm bell and then that way you'll get notifications when I post new videos. And thank you so much to everybody that's already subscribed and supporting the channel, it really means a lot. I'm just going to put this back together now and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>